I think one of the biggest challenges for pharmaceutical companies um, is the fact that we haven't done this before. Um, and so you've got to go through that learning experience. Um, you've got to learn how to serialize products, how to manage the data. Uh, and therefore, you've got to upskill your teams. You've got to, have, you've got to build the expertise internally. The barriers to engaging senior stakeholders um, is that ultimately they're going to be questioning why they need to do this and why they need to do it now and the expense of doing this. Um, and you've got to have convincing arguments as justify that. Um, they're also not going to be um, very familiar with serialization, so they're not going to know how to support and the impacts on the organization. So you've really got to explain these things and build the business case uh, and, and explain what the problems are going to be. Manufacturers should act now because it's going to take a really long time. Um, I think people forget just some of the, the simpler things that are going to um, have to take place. So for instance, a, a couple that I could think of is how long do you want to run these systems before um, you know that you're running them really well? Is that months or is that a year? Is it two years? So it's not a matter of being ready the night before the legislation kicks in. It's about learning how to maximise and optimise your operations um, to solve the problems, to, to uncover the unknowns. And that takes time. Um, so that's the first thing. I think the other thing is that um, you've got to fill the supply chain with product. Um, and there's a, a natural length of time to manufacture product, to put that into supply chains and for that to get through. And those two things uh, alone can add months or you know, even a year to a programme. Um, the other really big concern is, you know, people have likened this a little bit to 2012, and there are, there are similarities there in as much as that there's only so many people that understand this area, um, and there's only so many good vendors, uh, and so if you don't start early, you're going to find that you're, you're the last of the party, you won't have the support, and that would be a concern also. Operational performance is a concern. Um, serialization means you're going to be doing more things in your organization, within your processes, on your production lines. And the more things you do, the more the chances you've got to go wrong. So you are adding complexity. Um, at the end of the day, what you've really got to do is, is embed these processes uh, and get them working. Um, there's some interesting stories that are coming out that people are using serialization as an excuse to look at the way they do things and improve them. Um, um, so that way uh, you end up at least perhaps neutral with, with, um, uh, with the impacts. But there's no, there's no doubt that this, this could stop supply chains working, it can, put, uh, it can decrease OEEs, there are serious issues there. I think when people come to this as a topic they consider initially it's just about a serial number and a barcode on the pack. Um, uh, and even more, perhaps naively, uh, a lot of people say, well, we put barcodes on packs already, so what's different here? The big difference is that now it's not just about the physical product that's flowing through the supply chain. You've also got data in IT systems. And if that data in the IT system isn't correct, that will stop your product moving as well. Um, and keeping the physical world uh, of the product uh, and the virtual world of, of numbers in databases synced and aligned, that's incredibly difficult. Um, that's a real challenge. I think what it does is it, it puts up a barrier and makes pharmaceutical products uh, less attractive. Um, and so therefore you're decreasing the risk. You'll never stop counterfeiting. Um, you're just going to put barriers up and make it more difficult. The 
first things that a pharma company might take, I think really they need to upskill their staff. They need to, this isn't something that you can do on a Friday afternoon. You need to build a team. Uh, you need to get that team experts in the field. Um, you need to produce the strategy to understand what you're going to do with this. What's your company's approach to this? Is it purely compliance? Um, are you going to link this with your uh, anti-counterfeiting features? Are you going to try and get other benefits? Um, what exactly is your approach to this?